What are the different kicks for different distances? Thank you, Jamie from YouTube. What I think we're referring to here is for a sprint event versus distance swimming. What happens to your kick, your frequency, your intensity, your cadence? Now you might see some of the best swimmers in the world like a Katie Ledecky or other top endurance swimmers and it looks like they're not kicking at all or they have what's called a two beat kick. And this is really just to keep balance in the stroke, to keep rhythm. If you look at someone like a Katie Ledecky, she's breathing every every two strokes and it looks like there is a little bit of rhythm even though it looks like her legs are dragging there is a two beat kick which means one kick for every arm stroke now if you look at the best swimmers in the world in a shorter distance like maybe a 200 freestyle or a 400 freestyle or a 100 freestyle it's more common that you're going to see a six beat kick that means you have three kicks for every arm cycle every arm movement so if you think about one stroke cycle that means you have two arms moving both your right and your left if you're able body that means you're going to have six kicks for those two arm strokes that's called a six beat kick now it's really rare you might actually see an eight beat kick which is four kicks for every single arm stroke. Now that's really uncommon. Some top swimmers who do that are Natalie Coughlin. So if you check out some video of her, you're gonna see her actually doing an eight beat kick. Now, in terms of training, and, and if this actually matters for you to think about from a training perspective, I think it does. So for example, if you're just warming up and you're just kind of getting your flow going, it's totally okay to only do a two beat kick. Now some people naturally, even when they're going slow, they're going to have a six beat kick. It's just not as intense. And it's really there for balance. And some top swimmers, they actually cannot swim with anything other than a six beat kick. Uh, I don't have that problem. I definitely have a two beat kick for balance. You might also see a four beat kick. That means two kicks for every stroke cycle, but definitely a two beat kick and a six beat kick are the most common and that is the most efficient. So if you're training and you're trying to think about competing in a, comp in a race, you're doing a competition, really you should target your training to match what you're trying to do in a race. So if you're swimming the 200 freestyle in competition, you're trying to optimize for that, you're gonna need to train your body to handle a six beat kick all the way through that entire event. So if it takes you two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, whatever it is, you have to actually be able to maintain a six speed kick. The only way you can do that is through training, training at high intensity and being able to do that. If you swim distance, you're probably going to train a lot of longer endurance swims and you might only have a two beat kick through all of that but you wanna have that easy speed in the beginning and also that closing speed, so you might wanna do some higher intensity bursts. Now, if you're looking to take your training to the next level, you gotta make sure you follow a structured training program, and that's what you can get with the MySwim Pro app, so that way you know exactly how to train for different events like this. So I wanna know what your questions are down below in the comments. If I didn't answer your question, let me know down below, and subscribe while you're down there, and I'll catch you guys later. Happy swimming.